Also, the National Peace Council concluded its final meeting on the roadmap on disbanding vigilantism in Ghana without the input of the opposition National Democratic Congress. Chairman of the Peace Council, Professor Emmanuel Asante, called on both the New Patriotic Party and the National Democratic Congress to honestly endorse and adopt the draft roadmap and code of conduct on political vigilantism. Here is a report by Seloma Minya. The National Democratic Congress, NDC, failed to show up at the final dialogue on the disbandment of political vigilantism organized by the National Peace Council at Pejuasi in the Eastern Region. This means that they could not make input into the final draft roadmap and code of conduct. Unfortunately, the NDC is unable to join us, but they have the documents in their hands and they are fully aware that this document is being discussed. The outcome will be conveyed to them. At the end of the deliberations, the NPP accepted the roadmap and code of conduct in principle. One of the parties has in principle, barring the concerns raised, adopted both the roadmap and the code of conduct and expressed its preparedness to sign them after due corrections. We're also happy about the endorsement of the key stakeholders who are here. Professor Asante hinted an official public endorsement of the document will be held at a later date. Following this meeting, we will submit the reviewed document to the two parties again for final read. We will then organize an official public endorsement of the documents which will seek to eradicate vigilantism in Ghana. This, we believe, our efforts will ensure public confidence in the elections, our electoral institutions, while ensuring peace in our country. The documents were developed by a technical committee aimed at ending political vigilantism and will further assist existing legislations and other frameworks on ending the menace. The dialogue was instituted by the National Peace Council following the violence that erupted at the Ayoso West Wagon constituency by elections. The two main political parties, the governing NPP and the opposition NDC, under the auspices of the Peace Council, met four times in the last eight months to decide practical steps on how to deal with political vigilantism.